going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D-Dub here, and welcome to Whispering Cliffs, our very first park in what is actually, for real this time, Corkscrew Follies, the first expansion pack in the Roller Coaster Tycoon original game. Uh, we're going to quickly rename Whispering Cliffs to Surfer's Cove. I don't know what it is about this park, but when I first saw it, the first thing that popped into my mind was an episode out of um, Rocket Power. <laughs> and I don't know if any of you ever watched that show, but I used to watch that all the time as a kid. And there was one episode where they went to this place they shouldn't have been. And there was a crazy storm out and they just wanted to ride this big wave and all this <laughs> stuff. And I don't know what it is about that, but that just instantly reminded me or this park just instantly reminded me of that and i think it's gonna work pretty well uh, but you can see we've got a lot of land to work with here or not a lot of land but a long strip of land um i don't want to cut that off like i kind of normally would instead i just want to build stuff at all ends of it i think it could be really cool having the entirety of this place accessible from the get-go I think there's something cool about that. And we're going to build this crooked house to start. It's, I don't know if you've ever been on one before. I've been on a crooked house before. There's one at uh, Six Flags Over Texas. Um, but other than that, well, I'm not super familiar with a bunch of parks. But it's pretty cool. Like, the rooms are intentionally built, like, at an angle. So you have to, you're, like, walking slightly on the wall to be able to navigate the house it's kind of cool very uh disorienting to say the least uh, if we start that one earlier this should be able to connect right there perfect and this silence is already driving me nuts so i think the next thing we're going to build is actually how do you test a crooked house no one walks through it how do you i don't get it <laughs> anyway we've got a 215 excitement on that this is, you know, no better or worse than like a haunted house, I'm pretty sure, as far as all that goes. Maximum capacity, five guests. That's kind of small. Crooked House 1. We'll come back and rename that in a sec, but I need to get some music in this park. This is already... Ooh, it's like kind of cringeworthy. Uh, all right, let's get a merry-go-round. And I did mention last episode when kind of planning out or potentially planning out how I wanted this park to be laid out. I mentioned doing kind of a bunch of our gentle rides just kind of spread out along the top with the stations of uh, some of our coasters. And I think that's still what I want to do. I think it could work out real nice. And I also want to take a pat why did that get rid of that makes no sense <laughs> um i also want to bring down i'll show you here in a sec um a walkway maybe from here i'm i haven't quite decided where yet but i think it could be cool having a walkway kind of go down to the water and then we could build up sort of like sort of um like a beach or something to give the illusion that this is a place that people could actually go to surf and we're gonna kind of make it like I just said, an illusion, because we don't have much space. But when you look at it without that, it looks like there's plenty of water. So we might actually build up most of what we actually have, assuming we have the money to do it, or at least in a portion. So that way it looks like we've got a decent sized beach with all this water uh, in front of it. I think that could be a really cool look. But again, that's going to depend on how much money we have. Um, so let's test that and open it. Ah, uh, much better. <laughs> All right, let's name these two real quick while we're here. Um, our Crooked House. So my theme for this, again, is sort of like surfer-ish. And so I'm not very well versed in surfer terminology. So I had to look some things up. Um, and some I just kind of came up with off the top of my head. So they're not incredibly great. This being one of those. Uh, so Crooked House, we're going to name it Slashed Surf Shop. Um, I was kind of thinking like you slash prices for extreme discounts at a surf shop and slashed and slanted. I don't know. To me, they were kind of the same. 
So yeah, that's how I came to that. <laughs> in case you were wondering. We need some staff in this park. Let's get a mechanic for these two. It's going to be so nice having the entirety of this park above ground. <laughs> or at least the vast majority of it. So I can actually see where people are and assign them appropriately. We're going to do handyman as we go here. And we're probably going to be building something along the entirety of the top portion in this episode. I think we'll have the time. I think we'll have the money. I'm not concerned. And I don't know... Eh, he'll make his way back here eventually. Um, I'm not sure what color scheme I want to do for our staff. We could do... I mean, with it being very surfer-oriented, I'm thinking blue is a good option. But I don't know. What other colored blues do we have? If we do... Ooh, that's kind of cool. And then maybe a darker blue for the mechanics. I kind of like that. The two colors don't really go together, but then again, handymen and mechanics don't really need to be standing next to each other. <laughs> and so you're not really going to see that too much. I'm kind of future-proofing their walkways here, so we can make sure to have... Actually, we'll have this guy cover all the way over here. Um, he doesn't need to be covering outside the park. <laughs> that should be everything there. All right, so is that... Yeah, that's covered. Um, we'll stop there for now. Oh, stop mowing grass, dude. Get back on the path. All right, we'll stop there for now while we finish developing this half, or at least mildly developing. We're not going to go crazy with it. Um, we're just going to kind of spread out our gentle rides to start. We'll do a spiral slide as well. Oh, and guys, I have some very exciting news. I don't know why I didn't lead with this. But yesterday, which was, for me, uh, Wednesday. Yesterday, I pulled the trigger on purchasing all the components necessary to build a computer. That's right. I'm going to be building a computer. I might even be making some videos on it. I think that could be kind of cool. Um, let me know if that's something you guys would want to see or not. I'm probably going to do it anyway, um, whether I upload it or not, just to have it and kind of document it for my sake. I think that'd be really cool to have. And it'd be the first sort of, not quite vlog style, but it's going to be something um, as far as like creative or something. I need to get my words together. It's a creative outlet that I haven't attempted yet. I'm doing, you know, these voiceover playthroughs. I'm doing a face cam kind of playthrough with my Walking Dead series. And then that would be something that I kind of have to work on getting like camera angles and stuff for it. my first kind of film oriented um, videos, which I think would be kind of cool to do. Uh, no, we're going to close that. Let's do Max and let's do... Nah, we'll keep it at single ride. Uh, but I am so excited to build that, guys. It's going to be so nice having a monitor. Right now, I have a 15-inch laptop. Sorry, I just tried moving my mouse to the corner of my screen. That didn't do what I wanted. Uh, but right now, I have a 15-inch monitor. I just purchased a 24-inch monitor. And I might be getting a second one. Um, I might be borrowing one from... My mom's computer actually just kind of died. And she's looking at getting a laptop. So I might use her old computer monitor just kind of as a secondary one for the time being but until then I I'm gonna have a monitor that's just so much better than the one I have now and it I'm really excited for it if you can't tell but yet yeah, yeah I can't talk uh but again let me know if that's something you guys would want to see sort of some some build videos I'm gonna if I do anything it's gonna be sort of like a building a computer for layman's um not like super technical or in-depth but kind of my take on it because there's a bunch of videos out there already of people building computers so i wanted to do something a little different if i did um did we get i already adjusted that sorry i can't type and talk at the same time all right so we've got slashed surf shop over here and then merry-go-round we're gonna name this um let me find it on my list 
goober go round. Uh, and on this list, and again, I'll post kind of the glossary of terms that I used in the description. But for for this one, a goober, if I remember, and a, this is so nice. Like, I'm just thinking ahead. When I have a second monitor, I'll be able to have that list up on one screen so I don't ha just have to guess my way through all these terms. But a goober, if I remember correctly, is a term for a longboard or a longboarder. Uh, which is a type of surfboard. It's a longboard, I I think. I, I don't quite know. <laughs> Sorry if this video is slightly less, less uh, planned than normal. I have to get this recorded, edited, and uploaded in the next two hours. So I'm kind of... I can't rush the recording, but the editing and all that might be a little rushed. So apologies in advance. Uh, for our slide here, we're going to name this one Ankle Buster, which is a term for really, really shallow waves. Like when you first step foot in the water, all the little tiny little waves that come up on your feet, those are considered Ankle Busters, which I think is kind of funny. Um, mechanic One is covering all that. We'll have him cover this stuff just in case we expand out back there for whatever reason. And then we probably need another mechanic. So we'll take care of that. Get all this. And I do want to build a coaster in this episode. So don't think we're just doing these gentle rides. That is not at all my plan. I want to get something cool built here shortly. Uh, we're going to kind of... Maybe we'll take this... I don't know. Maybe we'll do gentle rides on this half to start. So we'll do like one more sort of here-ish. And then we'll build a coaster on the other side to kind of get people going in all directions. Let's do scrambled eggs. I'm going to attempt for the entirety of this series or season as well to try, try being the very much keyword, try to make all my scrambled eggs rides. Sorry, my phone just activated via voice command and started doing things. I don't know what happened there. Um, but I'm going to try to make all my scrambled eggs rides still have an egg related name. It's going to be very difficult to do. But I'm going to try. Alright, that should be good. That's mechanic 2. He's covering not quite that. So we'll have him cover that. He can do that. That's fine. That's not too much space. Um, so for Scrambled Eggs 1, keeping with our egg theme, we're going to name this one... Try These Eggs, brah. <laughs> like surfer bros or bras. Not like women's bras, but bras like bros. If that's not confusing you yet, I don't know what would. <laughs> Alright, let's up the rotations to... Max, and then try these eggs, bruh. I, I know I can't pull that off at all. So if any of you are thinking I sound really lame saying that, I agree with you. I think I sound very lame saying that. So I'm going to stop. All right. I think that looks good for a paint job. Very kind of blue. I want to make everything kind of blue-ish being on the water and having a heavy surfer theme. I think it's going to tie things in nicely. Um, we don't have any shops and stalls. Oops. Um, let's do... Ooh, this is a perfect spot. We're going to do two kind of food court-ish areas. And I'm not going to get too crazy with them. But we're just going to do a little bit of everything. And the info kiosks, I'm actually going to place separately. And we'll do kind of one at the end, one in the middle... Or one at either end, and then one in the middle. I think that'll work. And we're going to actually charge people in this park for the bathrooms. <laughs> All right, so we'll do three info kiosks, just kind of right off the bat here. We'll do one here. And we just got an ice cream stall, so we can add that to our little setup. I think I want to do this kind of lighter blue. I think that's going to look really nice in this park. So we'll do that there. We'll add a ice cream stall back here. And then I'm going to go ahead and take care of the other food court 
off camera because I know this isn't incredibly exciting to watch. So I'll see you guys when I'm done with all that. All right, restrooms, info kiosks, food and drink are now all taken care of. Like I said, we've got an info kiosk at the end here, food kind of in the middle on the left side, info kiosk and bathroom in the middle, and then we've got info kiosk and all of our food here on the far end down here as well. Okay, done with that. Let's build us our very first coaster. I think we've got enough stuff over here on the left to start with. So I want to start adding some stuff on the right. And let me just make sure real quick that everything's covered. Yeah, we're good. Okay. It's easy to forget that stuff. All right. And I'll take care of our handyman off camera for all this section. Because I know that's not incredibly exciting to watch. But what is hopefully exciting to watch is the building of a brand new coaster. Which I think I want to do this Virginia Reel coaster. Um, it's a flat bottom wooden tray. You can basically see it. They're in a wooden, you know, cup basically that runs along these tracks and kind of spins when they take turns. Uh, this isn't something you can bank the turns on because the spinning or the force of going around the turn is what makes them spin, which is what makes the ride fun. Uh, so design the track layout with as many corners as possible to keep the circular cars spinning. I basically just rephrased what they had just said. Um, so let's look at some of these pre-builds. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it basically just... That's really neat. We might go for a similar design to that. Kind of going up and then slowly working our way down. Although I'm not sure. All these look really cool. Except that one. That one doesn't look as cool. <laughs> might just be the color scheme though. Okay, let's start this right here at the edge of our park, but up top here. Um, if we do this, actually, if we start it here, I think this could be cooler, and you'll see why. Um, so if we run it all the way to here, that's actually way longer than we probably need. Let's stop it there. This isn't going to be incredibly long, but I think it's going to be cool. Um, okay, so we're up to 14. Let's actually stop at 13 here and turn around. And then we will start going up for our first chain lift. I don't think this thing can go incredibly high. So we won't go incredibly high. We'll just drop a little bit. And then I kind of want to make... Make this take up probably this portion right here and all this side. So we've got the ability to do some pretty tight turns here. So we can take advantage of that. But to start, we need to kind of... Yeah, that'll work. And then we can go under here. Ooh, what if we go straight here for like two, turn it again, and then drop down here? How much room do we have to work with? Not much. So let's back that off by one. And turn through that. Go up one and then back down. I think this will work. This is, again, a f the first ride of this style that I think I have ever built. I don't think I ever got into these expansions when I played this game when I was a kid. So any new rides are brand new for me as well. Which is honestly really fun <laughs> i like all these brand new rides they they give me something new and challenging to do it's kind of cool um if we take this up one more to 17 we have the ability to go underneath the track that we're laying right now which is something i think will look nice so we could do that and then do another tight turn there Go down one more, and that should line us up real nicely here at the end. And I hope this is a good ride. I have no idea if it is. I know that's pretty short, but with this being the very, very beginning of our park here, I'm okay with doing a shorter ride. Did we leave any room for our station anywhere? Or our uh, entrance, sorry. We'll have to do it on this side. 
which once we get pathway laid, won't look as bad as it currently does <laughs> with those floating stations. Um, so we've got to do the entrance first. And once we add the exit, you won't even be able to see how bad that looks. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Um, that can connect up there. And then our exit will just run straight to the side and connect there. Perfect. We just got a steel mini coaster too. Sweet. We didn't have that to begin with? Huh, I thought we did. Uh, anyway, let's get a mechanic before I forget. And this guy will expand out to cover whatever's needed as we build more stuff on this side. I'm not sure what all we'll be building. But man, that one ride took up like half this side. Given we do have a lot of space underground and under, not underwater, but on this lower water level. So we're going to have to be very conscious about using that space because I need to make sure I'm placing enough station up top that it's still easily accessible via footpath to get all the way down there, if that made any sense. I don't know if it did. I apologize if it didn't. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's test the Virginia Reel 1. That actually worked pretty nice. Much better than I was anticipating. Um, I don't like the paint job at all, and I'm definitely going to be changing the name. But I just wanted to get this open because we're currently in the red. We can take out another 10 grand, so I'm not too worried about it, at least right now. Um, but, ooh, look at that. That's a good ride. I don't know how much money we spent building that thing. Probably quite a bit. <laughs> but still that came out really nice I'm very pleased with that I like how this looks too that's really cool okay sorry brand new ride I'm getting all mushy gushy about it um what color do we want to do this I feel like gray supports would look nice and then uh no not that I kind of want to make this look like it's at like a pier or something and it's kind of worn down from you know the salty the salty air or the salt in the air just kind of corroding the wood and kind of making it look old um, how I want to go about achieving that I'm not sure <laughs> and what if we make the boats like bluish blue and white there and then what if we make the supports ah that just doesn't look good what if we change this to like a light blue oh gosh no 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 that's awful that's even worse that's not bad though makes me want to change the color of this to something a little bit lighter guys I don't know what I'm doing right now none of these colors look good ooh Okay, I kind of like that. The blues don't clash as much as they did. <laughs> I think that'll work. And we definitely have way too much station, but that that's okay. I'd rather have too much than too little. All right, Virginia Real 1. Um, did I come up with a name for this? Yes, I did. We're going to name this one Backwash Brigade. Or Brigade... Brigadiers? Is that a word? I don't know. If it is, let me know. Brigadiers. I think that would be cool, but I don't want to name something that doesn't exist. Uh, but anyway, backwash is basically like when a wave hits the shore and then starts going back out into the ocean and it runs into another wave, usually creating a, a bigger wave, which apparently is fun to surf on. I don't know. I'm just going off of what I read, and I hope it's correct. But that is Backwash Brigade. 
That's our first Virginia real coaster, and I don't think it came out half bad. Um, we don't have any options other than continuous circuit on this. I'm not crazy about the paint job, though. I don't know how to make that look really, really good without just going to like a wooden style, which I don't really want to do. And by wooden style, I mean browns, <laughs> wood colors. Um, all right, what time is it? We're halfway through June. We have enough money, probably. Well, we do now. Um, I want to add something else smaller on this side. Um, so we've got a fair amount of stuff over here. But we need to add something over here, probably. And I think... Ooh, if we do it right... Ooh, I'm trying to think where the best spot is to line up our entrance and exits. That, a oh, no, 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 it's got to go, um, delete that, move it one to the side, there we go, entrance there, exit there, and now we can actually run our line down the side here, which I think looks very cool, and again, I absolutely love having our exits exit right back out onto the main path, just makes things so much cleaner looking, in my opinion, I love it. Okay, we will up the number of swings to a not quite as ridiculous amount. There we go. Test and open. And swinging ship one. Um, <laughs> let's name this one. Dude, where's my ship? <laughs> Instead of dude, where's my car? Dude, where's my ship? Perfect. I like it. Um, and we're going to make this one look nice and shippy. <laughs> we're going to make this one look like ship. <laughs> um, How do we want to go about it? Does that gold trim look good? Kind of. I kind of like that. And then what if we do a, a brown base? How's that going to look? Uh, let's try that darker one as well. There it is. Dude, where's my ship? We can charge two fifty for it. Did I even up the price on a uh, backwash brigade? I don't think I did. I did not. We can charge five nineteen or five ten. I'm thinking this could be another park. I know we just did it in our last one uh, at the North Pole, but if we just added a bunch of trees to this upper level once we're done building stuff I don't want them to get in our way but I think if we just kind of litter things with trees it could look really cool and a nice contrast to the beach that we will hopefully have enough money to build and kind of the surfing scene that we're going to be setting up it'll kind of really accentuate the whole cliffside aspect of this park okay is there anything else I want to take care of I don't believe so um, did we get anything else? We got a burger bar, so we can add that. I definitely want to do some water rides in this park. I think it's going to be... It wouldn't do this park justice if we didn't. Let me just put it that way. All right, though. I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching and visiting Surfer's Cove. Again, sorry if this felt a little haphazard and or rushed. It kind of was... But, you know, things happen. I'm actually going to a concert later tonight. So that's kind of why I have to get this up as quick as I do. But all right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. And until then, as always, take care. <laughs>